How are you everyone? Today I will discuss for you crochet ligaments of knee joint. In uh, knee joint we have two crochet ligaments, anterior crochet ligament and posterior crochet ligament. Okay. Before uh, discussing crochet ligament, first I will attach them to crochet ligament. I want to discuss some features about bone of femur and tibia here. Okay. At lower end of femur here, we have two condyles, medial condyle and lateral condyle. At upper end of tibia, we have also two condyles, medial condyle and lateral condyle. Between the two condyles of femur, we have notch, this area. We call this intercondylar notch of femur. At upper end of tibia, if you look here, this area called intercondylar area of tibia. So in femur we have intercondylar notch, this is medial condyle of tibia, the lateral condyle we have intercondylar area of tibia. Again, here, at lower end of femur we have intercondylar notch between medial and lateral condyle. On the upper end of tibia we have also medial condyle and the lateral condyle. Between the two condyles we have intercondylar area, okay. On the intercondylar area, we have also eminence here, elevation called, an elevation called intercondylar eminence. So, if we look from above like this, this is the anterior part of intercondylar area, and this is a posterior part of intercondylar area of tibia, okay. <clears throat> uh, to see the attachment of crochet ligaments, I will show you something here, we remove this. This is the upper end of tibia, medial condyle and lateral condyle. We on each condyle here we have meniscus or semilunar cartilage like this. Medial semilunar cartilage or medial meniscus or lateral semilunar cartilage or lateral meniscus. Each meniscus has two ends like this, anterior end and posterior end, anterior end and posterior end. We name each end like this horn so this is anterior horn of medial meniscus posterior horn of medial meniscus anterior horn of lateral meniscus posterior horn of lateral meniscus we notice that the both horns of medial meniscus and both horns of lateral meniscus lie in the intercondylar area of tibia this is anterior horn of medial meniscus anterior horn of lateral meniscus posterior horn of medial meniscus posterior horn of lateral meniscus we name crochet ligaments anterior and posterior crochet according to tibia. Anterior crochet ligament attached to anterior part of intercondylar area of tibia. Posterior crochet ligament attached to posterior part of intercondylar area of tibia. Okay. We can see this now. Look here. This is femur, remember, this is intercondylar notch, okay. I will remove the femur now. This is anterior crochet ligament and posterior crochet ligament. Anterior crochet ligament, anterior crochet ligament attached to anterior part of intercondylar area of tibia. If we look here, between both anterior horns, see here, anterior horn of medial meniscus and anterior horn of lateral meniscus, the anterior crochet attached between both horns like this. Posterior crochet ligament, this is posterior crochet attached behind both horns of both menisci, posterior horns. So anterior crochet between anterior horn of medial meniscus and anterior horn of lateral meniscus. Posterior crochet ligament attached behind posterior horns of both menisci. So anterior crochet is the anterior part of intercondylar area between anterior horns of both menisci, while posterior crochet ligament attached to posterior part of intercondylar area behind both posterior horn behind posterior horns of both menisci. Okay. Why we call it we call them crochet because crossing each other like this. Anterior crochet ligament run upward and backward. Posterior crochet ligament run upward and forward like this crossing each other. 
Remember, we call them anterior or posterior according to tibia, not to femur. You see the anterior run backward here, to femur, and posterior run forward like this, to femur also. Okay, what about the superior attachment of coruscate ligament? We will see now. Anterior coruscate and posterior coruscate. That both coruscate ligaments attach to intercondylar, not to femur. So arise from intercondylar area and spirally attached to intercondylar notch of femur. The anterior coruscate in the intercondylar notch, in the, the posterior coruscate also in the intercondylar notch. But the anterior coruscate ligament and an intercondylar notch on inner surface of lateral condyle. Posterior coruscate in intercondylar notch of femur on inner surface of medial condyle. The anterior coruscate on the attached to lateral condyle on inner surface here, the posterior coruscate to medial condyle, and both coruscate in the intercondylar notch of femur. This is attachment of coruscate ligaments. If we look also to this diagram here, if we look from the side here, this is a femur above like this, and the tibia. Femur, tibia. If you look here, anterior coruscate arises from front of tibia and run upward and backward. Posterior coruscate from back of tibia like this, posterior part of intercondylar area, remember this, okay? To run upward and, and forward like this. This is posterior coruscate ligament. And anterior coruscate ligament, yes, sorry. This is a posterior coruscate ligament here. Okay. This is anterior coruscate. Okay. I want to uh, see the condition of coruscate ligament during flexion and extension of knee, legs or tens or what. Okay. Um, as you see here, this is. Um, small model for, um, for for knee joint this is femur and tibia front back movement of knee joint like this flexion extension flexion extension of course not like this okay we we don't move the knee forward like this okay flexion extension and we have two coruscate ligaments this is an anterior coruscate ligament like this and this is a posterior coruscate ligament like this we call them anterior and posterior according to tibia, okay? Anterior coruscate and posterior coruscate. I will remove one of them like this. This is the anterior coruscate. I will check when, during flexion and extension, okay? Flexion, extension. Flexion, extension. Look. During flexion, the anterior coruscate ligament is lax. And during extension, become tense. Lax becomes tense during flexion and becomes uh, sorry becomes lax during flexion and tense during extension flexion lax extension becomes tense okay we look for the posterior coruscate like this <coughs> flexion tense the posterior coruscate okay Extension become lax. Tense during flexion, lax during extension. So we see now again anterior cruciate. Remember flexion, lax. Extension, tense. Posterior cruciate, flexion, tense. Extension, lax. Okay, we see, we saw now when the cruciate ligament becomes tense or lax during flexion or extension. Now, I want to show you what are the conditions that cruciate ligaments may be torn, okay? Tear of cruciate ligaments. Anterior cruciate, remember again, during flexion is lax. During extension is tense. But what if hyperextension? So 
Anterior cruciate ligament become tense during extension. So anterior cruciate ligament prevent hyper extension of knee. Prevent hyper extension become more tense. Okay. So if someone playing sport or something like this and hyper extension of knee occur like this, like this. Okay. This will make tear in anterior cruciate. So anterior cruciate ligament prevent hyper extension of knee. Okay. But if hyper extension happen like this suddenly like this. This will make tear in anterior cruciate ligament. This happen in sport like football or something like this. Okay, this hyperextension make tear in anterior cruciate ligaments. So, function of anterior cruciate. The first function is to prevent hyperextension. Okay, and if hyperextension occurs in knee, it will make tear in cruciate ligaments. Okay, also, this is anterior cruciate. We have this movement of femur backward or forward. This is called posterior dislocation of femur or anterior dislocation. Posterior or anterior. Now, the same of tibia. Anterior movement, posterior movement. Anterior dislocation, posterior dislocation. Anterior crochet ligament. See if we move the femur backward like this. This front, this is back, okay? The anterior crochet becomes tense, see? So, anterior crochet ligament prevent posterior dislocation of femur. So become more de more tense, you see. But if someone receive head from this side, okay, like this, head from this side, femur, make sudden movement like this, this will make tear in anterior cruciate. So also anterior cruciate. Second function prevent posterior dislocation of femur, okay, and torn if femur move backward suddenly like this. If someone head from this side, this will make tear in the anterior cruciate ligament. So two conditions make tear in anterior cruciate what are these conditions hyper extension of knee and posterior dislocation of femur but if someone also receive a head from this side and the tibia move forward like this anterior dislocation of tibia also make tear in anterior cruciate same posterior dislocation of femur same as anterior dislocation of tibia okay so in both conditions also the anterior cruciate will be torn this is about anterior cruciate. What about posterior cruciate? We will change this. This posterior cruciate ligament, sorry. This is a posterior cruciate again, here. We call it posterior according to tibia, okay? And this is posterior cruciate. Posterior cruciate ligament, if we look here, function of posterior cruciate. See, movement, prevent anterior dislocation of femur, prevents anterior movement of femur like this, prevents, so we call this anterior dislocation of femur or posterior dislocation of tibia, but femur, so the, the posterior cruciate ligament prevent anterior dislocation of femur. The anterior cruciate ligament prevent posterior dislocation of femur. Okay, so if we, if someone receive receive head from this side or head from back of femur like this, and the femur move suddenly like this, this will make tear in the posterior cruciate ligament. So anterior dislocation of femur make tear in posterior dislocation posterior cruciate and. Posterior dislocation of femur make tear in the in the posterior in the anterior cruciate ligament. Again, I will discuss this. Again, anterior cruciate ligament prevent hyper extension of knee and this anterior cruciate posterior dislocation of femur. If hyper extension occurs suddenly like this, tear in anterior cruciate. Okay. Again. Or posterior dislocation of femur also make tear in anterior cruciate. Posterior cruciate ligament. Again. Prevents anterior dislocation of femur. Prevents anterior dislocation of femur. This is a posterior cruciate. F head 
femur head from the back like this move forward so this will make tear in posterior cruciate ligaments we will discuss the cruciate ligaments and when becomes tense and lacks the functions of cruciate ligament also and when cruciate ligaments become torn during sudden movement or sudden dislocations of femur thank you and wait for more videos about knee joint or and other joints